hello everyone and welcome back to flo's corner so in this video we're going to be making some peach cobbler cookies so for our cookie crumble topping we're going to need four tablespoons of melted butter a quarter cup of brown sugar one tablespoon of white sugar and one half cup of all-purpose flour sprinkle a few dashes of cinnamon to enhance your flavor and give it all a good mix until it comes to a really nice crumble it should all come together in about one minute and a half. Now you're gonna line a small baking tray with parchment paper and add your crumble onto it. Use a spatula to spread out all of the crumble. Place the baking tray into your oven. You're gonna bake on 400 for about 15 minutes. Once the crumble is done, you're going to take it out of the oven and have it chill in room temperature for about 25 to 30 minutes. Once it has completely cooled, now you're going to take it and break it up to give the crumble look that you want. You can break them in small pieces or big pieces, whatever you choose. Set that aside and let's move on to our cookie recipe. You're going to take one stick of softened salted butter mixed for about 10 seconds. Add a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of granulated white sugar. Mix on medium for another 10 seconds until the butter and the sugar is mixed in well together. You're going to crack one egg and add it to your mixture and then your other egg you are going to separate the egg yolk from the egg white and you are going to add the egg yolk only. This is definitely going to help with the stability of the cookie. Mix again for another 10 seconds. Add about one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now you're going to add two cups of all-purpose flour. Mix on medium for about 30 seconds and then you're going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. Now you want to change over to your paddle attachment and now mix your cookie dough until it all forms into one solid ball. It usually only takes about one minute for that to happen. Your cookie mixture should not have any crumble. Your bowl should almost look perfectly clean. Now I like to chill the dough in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. While our cookie dough is chilling, let's move on to our peach filling. I'm going to be using the peach filling that I purchased at my local supermarket. You're more than welcome to use fresh peaches for this recipe. They already come as peach slices so what I like to do is cut them up and then I like to add about four dashes of cinnamon, one dash of nutmeg and mix it together. And that's it. Set that aside and let's get ready for our cookie coating. I like to use a half a cup of cane sugar and a couple of dashes of cinnamon and mix it together. Now we're gonna take our cookie dough and separate them into different medium sized balls. I like to use my own judgment for this. Now that we have our cookie ball, we're gonna roll it around in our cinnamon sugar coating. Place it on a piece of parchment paper and we're gonna take a half a tablespoon and make a large indentation right in the middle of the cookie. This indentation will make like a little bowl for our peach filling to fill up the cookie. Do the same for the remainder of the cookies and this is what they should look like. Bake them for 100 for about 25 minutes or until really nice golden brown. Now you're gonna take your cookie crumble and you're going to place it all around the cookie on top. It is up to your discretion on how much you wanna put on top of the cookie. But here they are, these delicious and scrumptious peach cobbler cookies that taste like heaven. They are so good, y'all. Y'all need to give this recipe a try. You can store these beauties in your refrigerator in an airtight container and enjoy. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if you try this recipe and how it came out. Hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.